Roberto, first of all, a very big welcome to Aston Villa. How excited are you to be here? Yeah, I'm very happy uh, that uh, I've been given the chance to work at this club. Um, I'm excited, uh, my backroom staff are very excited and uh, we, we're looking forward to start the work. And why Villa for you? Well, I think um, the fact that you know the new ownership is coming in and has uh, ambitious plans, uh, exciting plans, I think that really, um, really uh, rocked my boat. And uh, you know, it's it's a fabulous club. Uh, that's had some obviously problems uh, in the last few years, but I think uh, if if we manage to turn it around, uh, it can be a very uh, a very happy place and uh, exciting place for the future. And it's a real new era for the football club. You're coming in with Tony Shaw as the new owner. How excited are you to be working with him? Yeah, he, he made a very good impression on me. Uh, as I said, you know, he has very good ideas, uh, very good plans uh, for, for the club. And, uh, and I think uh, I, I saw myself uh, very, uh, very nicely in those plans and, and being able to uh, produce uh, the objective that uh, he set uh, to me. And now for you, I guess you've met Tony, you've got so many different responsibilities as a manager, but for you now, is it to start building a really good working relationship with him? Yes, I think that's, that's key. Uh, that's uh, one of the aspects that we discussed uh, in our meeting, that uh, I think it's important that um, you know, we have good communications uh, to be able to uh, understand each other good and, and to deliver what, uh, what we want to achieve. So um, he's, um, he's very hands-on and he's going to be, uh, he said, uh, very often here at, uh, at Birmingham, at Villa Park as well. So, uh, but he's got obviously his, his board as well and, uh, and they're going to obviously all work towards uh, the end goal. You said you liked your initial impressions of Tony. How serious is he about bringing success to this football club and what have you made of his passion and determination to succeed? Yes, um, as I said, he's, he's made a very good impression on me and uh, he's, uh, he's certainly showed uh, a, a passion for, for the club and for the football and, uh, you know, you, you look at his history and um, I think it's, it's full of uh, successful uh, stories. So, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, confidence that you take from that and I think uh, together, I think with everybody at Aston Villa, uh, because it's obviously, it's, it's a group, um, work that we have to do, uh, we hope to achieve uh, the success that we want. You mentioned earlier you've already sorted out your backroom staff. Could you talk us through your new backroom team just briefly, a little bit about each member and what they're going to be doing to help you mm -hmm. throughout the coming campaign? Well, uh, I've chosen Steve Clark as my assistant manager. Um, we've known each other for probably 20 years, uh, it is actually 20 years. and. He's worked uh, you know, as an assistant uh, at many clubs uh, and he's been a manager himself, but uh, also most important, he, he was uh, a manager in the championship uh, last season, so he has uh, great knowledge of, of the league. Um, Kevin Bond, first team coach, uh, again, uh, wealth of experience, uh, worked at uh, many different clubs and as well had, has experience of Premier League and Championship. He, he got promoted with, with QPR a couple of seasons ago. Um, then we have uh, Max uh, Massimo Battara, who is the goalkeeper coach. He worked with me uh, in Germany as well, was at Man City before. Um, very good goalkeeping coach that hopefully can uh, improve our, our goalkeepers. Uh, and then uh, the fitness and conditioning coach uh, that's been uh, at Inter Milan for the last two years. Um, his job will be to get the boys uh, the fittest uh, they, they, they can be. So they're in for a challenge then? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Wonderful. And in terms of the makeup of the backroom team, because I know roles can alter ever so slightly at different clubs, will Steve aid you and Kevin in terms of the coaching of the team out on the Bodymore training field? Well, we, 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 we tend to, to work as, or I tend to work as a team, so we'll be cooperating uh, with each other. I'm, I'm leading, obviously, and uh, and then obviously Steve and Kevin and, and Max and the two Max uh, will be then uh, helping me in, uh, in what uh, my plans and strategy are. Now the squad is always a big topic of discussion with supporters, reporters alike. 
I mean, at the moment, what's your vibe with what you're going to do? Can we expect a lot of comings and goings with obviously a new manager, new owner and new league? Well, first of all, uh, uh, when I analyse the squad, I think uh, we have too many players. Uh, the squad is too big, so I will uh, certainly look to trim the squad. And as I said, um, I will try to identify the right players uh, for this season that will give us an edge and will improve the team uh, on the many aspects, you know, on the uh, physical aspect, technical aspects, also the human aspects. You know, I think it's important that uh, I, I, we create a, a group of individuals that work as a team. Uh, I think that's, that's vital that we have a good uh, united team uh, on the pitch. And I know you probably can't say too much about this, but can we expect any business soon? Is there a particular time frame? Well, in my experience, uh, it's difficult to uh, do business uh, in a very short uh, frame of time. It normally takes a bit of time. And also, you know, the Euros are on, uh, players are on holidays. So you do a lot of preliminary work now, and then when it happens, it happens. And fair to say you've got a few targets in mind, maybe? I do have a few, uh, a few people in mind that I think will, will make a difference in our team. Now, just sidetracking slightly, we're going to Austria on a pre-season training camp. Are you looking forward to that? Yes, I am. I've uh, actually extended uh, the trip to Austria and I've uh, managed to organise a friendly game as well. So I've changed the pre-season a little bit around. We're starting a little bit earlier as well. So um, I've, I've reviewed and, and changed it uh, a little bit, uh, the pre-season schedule. I guess from your point of view, you get to see the personality of the players in those kind of environments and not just perhaps what they can do on the pitch. You get to know everybody a little bit better. Yeah, it's, a, it's always a, um, a time where uh, the players can get to know each other uh, uh, better. Uh, you, as obviously uh, the backroom, me and the backroom staff, we get to know the players a little bit better as well as we, we obviously knew. So, and, and also it's going to be uh, you know, uh, hard work for the players uh, in, uh, in the training uh, camp there. And so, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a time where, as a player, when I was a player, I wasn't looking forward to it because it means uh, it's, a, it's a lot of work. Of course, and the fans here have had a rotten time of late, really, and obviously relegated at the end of last season. But how determined are you to bring some happiness and some smiles back to their faces? Yes, I think uh, you know. I, I I think that happiness is is important in, in sport and in life. And obviously, happiness is a is a consequence of success. So, if we manage to to win games uh, on the pitch, obviously that will give people uh, some kind of uh, a happy feeling when they're going home. So, our aim is certainly to to give the people some of that, and uh, which means that everybody will be happy and um, we'll, we'll work tirelessly to achieve that. And do you have a message for them? For the supporters? For the supporters, yeah. Mm, yes, the only way is up. <laughs>